Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and today we've got a slightly different video on when your device is going to be getting Android 11. So, let's take a look. Now of course I can't go over every device and every brand in one video, so I'm going to be covering the best known brands and the newest devices, but for everything else there will be a link in the description below to an Android Authority article which has a ton more information. Now, to get this out of the way, Android 11 is not a major update. Yes, there are some slight differences to how some of the UI elements actually look, but the main thing about it is just the optimization and just being a more mature OS for the newer devices out there. Also, Android 11 is currently out now, so of course the Pixel line of devices are going to have it straight away on day one. Now, this is going to be coming from the Pixel 2 and up. Unfortunately, for you OG Pixel owners, you're not going to be able to get Android 11, but for everything else, go ahead into your settings and you can update now. So, let's start off with OnePlus, and for me, I actually use the OnePlus 7 as my daily driver, so it's actually quite good news. Now, if you've got a OnePlus 8 line of devices, you are going to be able to get Android 11 right now from an open beta that is available. I'm going to have a link in the description down below because it's not an over-the-air update. You actually have to do a couple of things to opt into it and then actually download it to your device. Now, there's not been any official word from OnePlus for when their other devices are going to be getting it. However, they have said that in regards to the 7 line of devices, it's going to pretty much be any day now, if not the very start of October. Now, for all of you on older OnePlus devices, from the OnePlus 6 and forwards, you're also going to be able to get Android 11 at a later date, probably around December time. Now on to Samsung. Now with their newest line of devices like the Galaxy S20 and the Note 20, Samsung have actually promised three years worth of updates which is really good to see. Now if you live in the US you can actually download and opt into the beta for Samsung devices and that's going to be on the S20 and on the Note 20 and it's going to be based off of the Samsung One UI 3.0 so there's going to be some slight differences to stock Android but it's still going to be the newest version available. Now the Galaxy Note 9 and also the S line of devices are not going to be getting Android 11 unfortunately. It's already been confirmed that their software updates are going to stop at Android 10. However for everything else from the S10 line of devices around that sort of error, obviously with Samsung they've got a ton more features baked into Android so it can be a little bit longer for software updates. But again Samsung have come out and said hopefully it's going to be by the end of this year. For me again I'm pretty much going to peg that on around December time if not the very start of January. Now, do people still use Sony phones? Well, if you do, you're gonna be looking at around December for a software update to Android 11, but that's only gonna be on the newest range of Sony devices that have come out this year and also the very start of next year. Now, if you've got anything mid-range or older, you're probably gonna be looking at sometime next year, maybe around May or June time, if not later into 2021. Now, Oppo has had a really great couple of years with their flagship devices, so with regards to their Android 11 updates, you're probably going to be looking around November, December time, which has been confirmed from the company. However, if you have one of their Find X or Reno 3 line of phones, then you can actually opt into the beta right now based on Color OS 11. Now, LG are a little bit behind with software updates, with some of their newer devices only just receiving Android 10. Now it's been reported that LG will up the time scale, but as always, it's going to come out first in South Korea, which is where LG's home is. Now do keep in mind that LG doesn't necessarily have the best reputation with software updates, so there's not really any concrete dates yet for when it's going to be getting Android 11, but hopefully it's going to be way sooner than some of the older software updates that they've had. Now, for this one, it's been reported that it's going to be around Q1 of 2021, so sometime before March, hopefully. And then last up for the main devices, we do have Motorola. Now, they've had a pretty good year or so with the line of Razer devices in terms of their foldable phone that they've had out. Now, that is going to be based off of Android 10, and currently there's not really any word on when Android 11 is going to be coming out. Now, I don't think that Motorola wants to be left behind in the smartphone game any more than it already currently is, so hopefully we're looking at around December time. Obviously, with the newer versions of Android and the developer previews, there's a ton of stuff in there about folding devices, so hopefully it won't be too hard for Motorola to jump on board. And that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Now, like I mentioned, I can't go over every brand, device, or just every Android phone that is currently out and eligible for the Android 11 update. So I've done my best to narrow it down to kind of the more popular ones that are out at the moment. But like I mentioned at the start of this video, I will have a link in the description down below to an Android Authority article, which has a ton more information about the updates that I've mentioned, plus also some other brands and other devices that you may want to take a look at. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below, and hopefully I can do one next year to let you know when you're going to be getting Android 12. 
that seems pretty far off at the moment. If you're not already subscribed, now is a great time to do so. And once you've hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you're notified anytime I post a new video here on the channel. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.